I'm back. Back to being by myself. Had a pretty good weekend. I don't know how I'm going to put all this video together. Is my lens dirty? Am I blurry? I probably am. It's been a pretty long weekend. We had a pretty incredible time. We did have a little bit. This is my bottle. Yes, I'm an adult. I can have some. But this is what you do. You, if you bring your own, it's a lot cheaper than actually hitting the stuff on property. Though, you know, it's it's great to show support to your local bartenders too, but sometimes it's nice to have a little down at the bar, come upstairs, get a little bit for yourself, and go back out. So that's pretty much how this weekend went. And uh, we had a pretty good time. Though for video, I really didn't go out and go all crazy because I was a little bit nervous about shooting video a lot with her, but she seemed to be fine on camera and, and content with that. So that's a bonus. We just need to work out how we're going to do content and stuff on future, you know, future trips and stuff. So I don't know how nothing was cohesive yesterday during our first date and everything. She's not here right now. She's back at the airport getting ready to take off, head back to Boise, Idaho. We only had one day together. So, and it was pretty amazing. I had a great time. Everything really blew her mind. What what I really, some of the clips that you're going to see in today's video that are just thrown in, there's really no story behind today's video. There's, I'm just going to add a clip in here, a clip in there, and it's, you're not going to be able to make heads or tails of it. But uh, over at Diagon Alley, we were before we went into Diagon Alley at Universal Studios, you're like in New York or the city streets, and then in the city streets of San Francisco, and then all of a sudden there's a brick building. And you walk through the bricks, kind of, you know, like in Harry Potter. And then all of a sudden, you're in a whole new world. And seeing somebody that's never seen anything like that before, witness that for the very first time, it was worth the entire trip to me right there. That that blew her mind. Even though I didn't get to take her on Gringotts or anything because it was an hour and five minute wait, just visually the whole place itself kind of blew her mind. So we enjoyed that a little bit. And then we went over to Men in Black and rode that. And I took her on the mummy. So she got to do a little bit of things before we I took her out to dinner. So though none of the video clips are going to make sense, it's just because I, I just couldn't do it. I couldn't just walk around and show her a good time and focus on video. But what I'm going to do today is I'm alone. It's a beautiful day outside. I think I'm going to hop on the bus or the boat and go back over to the theme parks for a little bit. And maybe enjoy the evening and put something together for tomorrow's video. I'm, there's still a possibility if one of my friends, uh, Jen Vargas from Central Florida Top 5, comes over here and picks me up. And we may still go over to Disney, MGM Studios, Hollywood Studios and catch the closing of the great movie ride. She's really busy today because there's she's running an Alfred Hitchcock Film Festival at the NZ on Theater. And I'm not sure when she's going to be done doing that if she gets off early enough i want her to come over here and grab me and we can go do some disney stuff and I, that's that's kind of what i want to do I, that's the stuff i want to knock out the date was just for me because it's been a, quite a few years since i've been on a date so i wanted to knock that out and i didn't want to really shoot cohesive me walking around talking and showing you guys stuff when i'm trying to show somebody else that's with me a good time so i do apologize but for those of you that I was talking to in, in, in other videos and you guys that were uh, telling me, don't worry about it, everything's going to be fine, no reason to be nervous, you were right. You, it, it was from the time she got off the airplane to the time she left, there was no reason to be nervous. It actually went really, really well. So real fast, before I end this vlog and you guys really hate me for the way the content's being thrown together in this video... Let me go ahead and thank everybody that's really hooked me up solid this trip. Cabana Bay Lowe's Resort here at Universal. You guys always take care of me. Thank you for everything. Certain people that work over at the Hard Rock, you know who you are. I don't want to say your names on video. Thank you. Thank you for the babysitting. You always, you always take care of me, always. And you are great friends. And yeah, I, I, I love you guys. Another ex-Hard Rock worker that came by who just had a baby and came all the way over just to show me your newborn baby last night. Thank you. You know who you are. Uh, 
I love you guys. Everybody at the Hard Rock Orlando, you guys are incredible. Always have been. And I just don't want to say who you are because you know how I feel about you guys. So thank you for taking care of us there. Everybody at Universal yesterday, Finnegan's, um, my, the entire staff, everybody at Universal made my trip incredible. Definitely impressed the heck out of her, out of Stephanie. So <sighs> just thank you. Thank you for everything. All right, so what's going to happen now? I'm going to go ahead and throw this video together in a, as a jumbled mess. Hope you enjoy it. And uh, I should probably do one more clip thanking you for a daily vlog telling you guys I love you. So this is going to be at the beginning of the video. And then I'm just going to mesh it all together. Peace out, everybody. God, I'm bad. And it's not, it's not, the, it's not what's in that bottle that's causing that. Because I'm pretty much being an, an adult right now and I'm not doing anything bad. So enjoy the video. I love you all. I'll, but I'll tell you that at the end of the video. Enjoy. It is time. Everybody to another daily vlog. A vlog that happens pretty much daily. Sometimes out in the parking lot of the Cabana Bay Resort Hotel. Getting ready to catch myself an Uber to head over. Look at this stylish. I'm leaving it a little bit unbuttoned because... I hear girls think that's sexy. I'm not sure. But I'm getting ready to head over to the airport. Just kind of waiting on the Uber. I think it's like five minutes away. Am I nervous? Yes. Only picked the wrong time to grab the Uber though, huh? I-4 traffic. All right. Well, I am... Let me see, what time is it? Hold on. It's 4.07. 4.07, my time. So about one hour and 23 minutes to kill and continue being nervous. So the best thing I could think of to avoid being nervous... Freak me out for a second. I thought that said light. That wouldn't do airports and yes here in Orlando we have a pretty big airport but trying to figure out where people are getting on and off the planes to try and find them it's a little bit difficult sometimes it's like I found where Uber's gonna pick us up I think I think this is where Uber picks us up I found where she's going to be picking up her bags, Carousel 20, but it's 30 minutes from now. Their plane is probably over Tampa. Maybe they've got their seatbelt signs on and stuff like that, preparing for landing. That takes a while. 21, I think I got to go to 20. I mean, not me, I don't have to pick any bags up, but we'll definitely be picking up her bags over here and I might as well sit over here and hide. I mean, maybe I shouldn't hide. Maybe I should just introduce myself fairly fast, right off the bat. It's getting very close to time. And I was at the wrong pickup station. I'm supposed to be at 23, because it says San Francisco right there. So I'm gonna hide over here. She should be coming down these stairs. And maybe she won't notice me. That's the plan anyway. It's like we still have 10 minutes or so till the plane lands. Whoop, it disappeared. Oversized bend. It's 527, it's gonna arrive at 49. Yeah, there it is, 49. I'm really excited. In 10 minutes, walking down that stairs is gonna be, I'm trying to think of something. I'm trying to think of something. It's gonna be, it, it, it's gonna be, it's gonna be my date for tonight and tomorrow, and the next day, coming right down that escalator. Okay, thought I was talking about the plane. Well, when I was down there, kind of waiting, I seen this little thing and it kind of made me curious. Check this out. Look at this, privacy for pumping and breastfeeding. 
things that I'm probably not needing right now, I don't think, but you never can tell. The sign says about five more minutes. They have to go that way. She has to walk that way. Their plane is, well, not the plane. The plane has landed, but the people are getting off the plane. I don't know what it's called. Departing the plane and starting to head down this escalator, getting ready to go pick up their bags. I'm just going to hang out and hide for a little bit and then probably say, okay, let's meet and run over to her and then get in an Uber and head over to the place where we're staying and I guess go out to dinner. This is going to be weird. It's going to be weird, guys. Guys, she's here. She's right here. I'm not going to show her. I, I don't know if she wants to be shown yet. She just got off a really long airplane flight. But what I do want to show you guys, check out the size of her luggage. <laughs> I don't mean her trunk or her, you know. Look at the size of it. I swear. I, honest, you cannot pick. I don't know how that's going to fit in an Uber. That thing weighs... How much did you say it weighed? 100 pounds? I think it's 43. It's, it's 100 if it's... It's not 100. They would have charged me like $100.